10%. The question is, well, how can I use this probability 10% and find the Z associated to that 10%? So let me go to the board and explain that for you. So in many cases, in many cases, we have the probability. Again, guys, when you're talking about the probability, we're talking about the area below the graph. We have the probability. We can use the probability to find the z scores. The functionality that you're going to use is inverse norm. In our calculator, what are you going to use? You're going to go to second, you're going to go to wars, and then you're going to use the inverse norm. Inverse norm. So again, a quick recall for you. Quick recall. If you're finding the probability that X is less than A, and you have a normal distribution. Normal distribution. You're going to go to second. You're going to go to wars, and you're going to use normal C D F. Then you have your lower limit, which is like negative ten, negative one hundred, a very small number. You're going to have your upper limit which is A, the mean, and you have your standard deviation. If it says, hey, the probability that X is larger than, larger than B, I'm going to follow the same for a normal distribution. A normal distribution. I'm going to go to second, worse, normal distribution, normal CDF, and your lower limit is B, your upper limit is a large number, like a hundred, a thousand, then the mean and standard deviation, and standard deviation. In between is in between, you have your lower limit, you have your upper limit, but this case is different. Guys, it says, hey, you do not have your X, you do not have your Z. What do you have? You have the probability. This number, this value is given to you. You can use the probability to find, to find your Z. After you find your Z, then you can find your X. You can find the X value. Well, x value becomes z times sigma plus z. Well, these are the steps that you're going to take. Let me move this a little bit more. Let's see this before. x is z times sigma plus z. Very good. Let's go to the board and see what do we have. So in this example, we know that it must be top 10%. Top 10%, where is that located? Let's take a look at your graph. This is my graph, top 10%. Top 10% is going to be here, 10%. 
of 100%, but it is top 10%. Top 10%. Okay, so what is the Z value for top 10%? What is this Z? So first we need to find Z, then we're going to find our X value. Okay, let's use our calculator. To find Z, you're going to use your inverse norm. So go to second, bars, inverse norm. Okay, let's take a look at this. Let's turn on the calculator, second bars, and then inverse norm. Inverse norm, well, the area is 10%, okay. So the area is 10%, point 10, and the mean is zero because you are trying to find your Z. Mean is zero with standard deviation one. So 10%, point 10, mean is zero, standard deviation is one. Let's do the paste. The number that is written here is negative because it gives you the Z value on the left-hand side. The calculator computes the area to the left. So since mean is zero, the Z, which is mirror image of negative 1.28, is going to be positive 1.28. Okay, it wasn't that hard. I used second, worst, inverse norm. The calculator computes a negative z-score, which is the mirror image on the left-hand side, negative 1.28. But since I have the top 10%, this is the below 10%, the lower 10%. This is what your calculator has inside it. It's built into your calculator lower top, lower 10%. Here you have the top 10%. Your calculator only has the left area, lower 10%. It gives you negative 1.28. So you're going to change the sign into a positive 1.28 and use this Z to compute your X value. So you know that X is equal to sigma times Z. Z times sigma plus the mean, all right? So we will just enter all of this information and find our x. x becomes z, which is 1.28 times sigma. Sigma is given in the question, all right? It says the standard deviation is 10 and the mean is 50. So if we do the computation, if we just multiply these two numbers, and add 50 to it, you get 62.8. So this is the minimum, minimum score that still be considered for hiring. 